What's up guys, it's Carl here, back with an episode, finally in the new renovated office. This video has been in the works for the past two months. It's almost a bit of a blessing in disguise with what's going on now. I've isolated myself in here, renovated this place myself, and here is the new office. So it's pretty crazy to see the before and after shots and the transformation of this place. It has gotten so much brighter. There are no studio lights in yet. We're all receiving natural light from the outside. You can see we went for a very minimal and bright look. We decided to keep the OG pillars and support beams in the original wood, and that gives it a very lofty vibe. I love that kind of feeling. Those are very hard to find in condos nowadays. The biggest change in my opinion has been the update to the flooring and this is the stuff that we used here. It's white maple and got to give a huge shout outs to Home Depot who not only sponsored this episode but the entire renovation process. And that kind of just shows someone like myself who's had no experience with home renos managed to get by. There was a lot of struggling, a lot of cursing, but we managed to get the install in. And other than that, there's been no other structural changes. Let's walk around now and I'll kind of give you guys an idea of what each of the different sets or at least what's floating on in my mind. So in case you guys missed my first video of showcasing this new place, it is just over 1500 square feet. The area behind me here will be one of the main sets. This is where I'm gonna have my computer set up, workstations for editors, so if you are interested, hit me up on Insta. I know that we all have to be isolated right now, but hopefully once this epidemic pandemic is over, this could be your potential working spot. Area number two, my personal favorite, doesn't need any intros, this is the orange wall. This is another main set area, and I'm gonna be putting all of my orange memorabilia, gadgets, whatever I can collect onto this place. And into area number three behind me, I'm planning to have some sort of photography backdrop, maybe for some product shots. This will kind of rotate and perhaps be the interchangeable set. Maybe you should just give me other ideas because I don't know what should be in here. As promised, I am gonna rock a bit of a Q&A by the orange wall. I asked you guys over on Insta and Twitter, so let's go through some of these. What was the most annoying thing to deal with during the renovation process? And this is an easy one because all of us, me and my friends, have no idea what we are doing. So there is a running joke, the blind leading the blind. <laughs> How big is your space? Like I mentioned, it's just over 1,500 square feet. So if you minus say like the kitchen area and the bedroom, we've got 1,200 square feet of working space for the office. We got a lot of questions about my car and it's getting to that time of the year where we should be getting it out of storage and are you planning on upgrading your Porsche? What model would you upgrade to and when? And I was thinking of upgrading to the new 992s. I have the 991.2 GTS, but with the way that everything's going on right now with the economy, I wanna be a bit more liquid. I'll probably hold on to the car for another couple of years. The new 992s don't sound as good. It's that particulate filter that they've put on to help with the environment. You don't get that same raw energy sound. Which is, you know, one of the main reasons why I'm into a Porsche and haven't, say, gone over to an electric car like a Tesla or even the Taycan. Things may change. Who knows? How did you start getting into tech videos? And this is a question I get all the time, and it's honestly just a hobby of mine. It's now just grown into something way larger than I ever would have thought. For anyone looking to get into the YouTube game or get into the online space, my recommendation is to find something that you truly love because the first year, two, maybe even three years will be super tough. No one will watch your videos, just you, maybe your mom, your friends, and you have to be passionate about it because if you're focused on making lots of money, getting famous, getting lots of followers, that's not the right way to go about it and you'll get discouraged because you really have to look at what you enjoy and through those tough times, and they happen all the time, even now for me, you really need that passion. Why orange? And I don't know if I can answer that question. We are sitting in front of the orange wall, but it's a color that I've loved since I've been a kid. You mentioned you are Dutch. Ever been to the Netherlands? Ever wanted to live there? TY, uh, thank you for the question. And yes, I am in fact Dutch. I've got my Dutch passport. And this is something that not too many people know unless you're in my, I guess, close friend circle. I did live in Holland for a couple of years back when I was a younger guy, 16 to 18, and I did play professional football, soccer. The worst part about being a YouTuber 
YouTuber, and that's something that I don't think a lot of people see. It's just the work that goes on behind the scenes. So this five, six minute video, this for example, has taken seven, eight hours to not only film, edit, think of concepts, make thumbnails, tags, etc. It's those wee hours of the morning where no one sees where you're crunching edits. All the people see is that video on YouTube and they think it must be the easiest thing in the world to be a YouTuber. You make five, six minute videos. It's really tough. The next question, what type of socks do you invest into? And I can bring up my portfolio right now. And I think right now it's a great time to get into the investing game. I'm pretty diversified. I've got a couple tech brands. I'm mostly into Apple and Microsoft. For automotive, Tesla I think is the way to go. That will only go up in the future. We've got a few Canadian bank stocks. Air Canada, it's an airline. You know, I think those are the most volatile right now. We have no idea when traveling will be a thing again. My last one, oil, I think that is also taking a big beating right now, but that will naturally go up as well. I am not a professional, don't take my advice. This is just my portfolio and I try to diversify across all things. So many questions, but I will answer one on Twitter as well. What are some at-home workouts that people can do to stay in shape with no equipment and I get workout questions all the time, I will show you guys quickly. So here's a great little circuit that I made out for at-home workouts. All I have is 30 pound weights. You can use whatever weight you feel comfortable with. Five exercises, 20 reps each gives you a hundred reps in total. Do that five times, one minute break in between. I'm clearly out of shape, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course the tour of the brand new office space. The next time I'm hoping this place will have soundproofing. All of my actual studio stuff will be inside. So we'll have full sets. So until then I will still be recording videos in my current spot. So bear with me as we go through the transition and hope to catch the rest of you in one of my next episodes or vlogs. Peace, stay safe.